Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce LaunchBox for Android 1.2. And with this new release, we've added something that everybody's been asking about when it comes to LaunchBox for Android, and that's custom themes. So with this release, there will be a few different themes bundled with it, but we can also download some from the forum. I'm going to go over both methods here. But real quick, I wanted to give you a look at some of these in action. So first up, we have Elysium. Really good looking theme here. This works in the platform section. It also works in a single console section. And right now I've got this set up with several different themes. So if I head over to NES, I've got this one known as the grid. And yeah, I mean, we've got that video over on the left hand side. This one also looks really good. I've got a different one set up here for original Game Boy, and this is known as Emblem. Really clean theme here. I'm going to back out of here, head over to my Game Boy Advance section. And this one's known as Unified Light. This is actually one of my favorites for Android so far. But as you can see, there are a few to choose from right now. It's still a bit early for theming on Android, but with this latest update, there is a PDF included that gives you all the information you need to create your own themes. So as soon as our awesome community gets their hands on this, we're going to see a lot of amazing themes come to LaunchBox for Android. So yeah, when it comes to version 1.2, the biggest feature here are the new custom themes, but just like all of our other LaunchBox for Android releases, there's some new fixes and improvements with this one also. So if you're interested in checking out the full changelog for 1.2, I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and read through that. But I know a lot of you are very interested in getting these custom themes up and running, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to show you how to get the update, and like I mentioned, there are three themes installed, but we do have a couple more over on the forum that you can download. So I'm going to show you how to manually install those themes, and this is definitely going to come in handy once the community starts making more themes for LaunchBox for Android. So in order to get updated, there's basically two ways to go about it. You can manually download the update from the website. You throw in your email, you'll get an email link to the newest APK. You can go ahead and update with that APK, or we can just head into the LaunchBox app. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Up in the top left hand corner, we've got that hamburger menu. We're going to go to options and we want to find check for updates on startup. Make sure this is enabled, and if you haven't got the update already, we'll go ahead and exit LaunchBox, start it back up, and you'll be prompted to download the new update. And once the new update is fully installed, we'll go ahead and start LaunchBox back up, and we've got three new themes to work with. First one being the Alicia theme. This works with platforms, filters, and game views. And personally, I'm a huge fan of this one. I really do love the way this looks. I've actually been using this on my game views and my platforms. But let's go in here to, let's say, Sega Dreamcast. And right now, this is just set up with the stock wheel theme. We'll change the view and we'll go to Banner Box. This is another one that comes bundled with the new update. And obviously, this is going to go great with the Banner Box theme for the platforms. We've got our box art, a clear logo, and the year the game was released. But we've got one more here that came bundled, and that's the grid theme. But like I mentioned, there are more to download from the forum, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. It's actually pretty easy. Unfortunately, there's no theme downloader built into Android just yet, so we will have to either use a separate PC, or you can do it from the Android device itself, but you'll need to know your way around a file manager and how to extract zip files properly on Android. So for this video, we're going to be using a Windows machine. Personally, I think this will be the easiest way to get a bunch of themes transferred over. Well, what I'm going to do is plug my Android device into my PC. And my LaunchBox installation is actually on my internal storage, so I'm going to go with internal. From here, I'm going to find a folder called LaunchBox. We now have a new one called Themes. And as you can see, we've got our themes. So we've got Grid, Banner Box, and Alicia, along with an example theme. And this example theme is going to make it really easy to create your own custom theme. We also have a README and some documentation here. We've got that PDF. This will tell you everything you need to know about creating your own custom Android theme for LaunchBox. And in order to get new themes installed, we'll need to place them right here. We've got a new section over on the LaunchBox forum. Link is in the description. This is the LaunchBox for Android custom themes download section. So uh, as we saw, we've got three of these already installed, but we don't have Unified Light, so we're going to go ahead and download this one. And we don't have the new emblem theme here. We'll grab this. Once these are finished up, we're going to open up our download folder. And we want to extract these correctly. So personally, I use 7-Zip. 
and I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract here. And once this is finished, we're just going to take a look in it. We've got unified light, and this is the structure we want. We don't want this in another containing folder. We'll do the same thing with the emblem theme. Right click, extract here, take a quick look. And now all we need to do is copy both of these. We're going to head over to our Android device, Launchbox, Themes, and we're going to paste them right here. And once these are finished transferring over, we'll have these new themes available in Launchbox for Android. Really easy to get this up and going. And like I mentioned, in the future, we're going to see a ton of really cool themes from our awesome community. But yeah, this is definitely just the start of custom themes on Android. More are to come, so definitely keep an eye on the forum. As soon as a lot of our community starts getting their hands on this, I'm sure they're going to make some really awesome themes for Launchbox on Android. And remember, if you're interested in doing the same, PDF and an example theme is located in the new update right in the themes folder. You can go ahead and read through everything. And if you've got something to showcase, definitely post it up on the forum. We'll take a look at it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed Launchbox for Android 1.2. If you're interested in checking out the change log for all of the fixes and improvements, link for that is in the description. But like always, thanks for watching.